Well, howdy. How's it going today? I hope that you are good. It's good over here. I'm glad that you're with me. I wanted to pray for us and read a little bit of the word with you. Let's do that together right now. Let me pray. Heavenly Father, my friend and I just come here right now just to acknowledge you, speaking to you, Lord, giving you the honor that you deserve, giving you some time here of ours together. And uh, we just want to let you know we love you, Lord. We need you. We're thankful for the good plans that you have for our lives. We're thankful that we that you're our that you're our rock, you're our dwelling place, you're our uh, our fortress, our our help in time of need. You're uh, everything to us, Lord, and we know with you for us, nothing can be against. Who could be against us? You know, and uh, we know that no weapon shall prosper against us because uh, these are the this is the inheritance of the servants of the Lord. You know, and we are, Lord, we're your servant. And we're glad to be that. So, um, so yeah, thank you for choosing us to be predestined to be like your son, God. And we just want to keep keep learning and keep becoming more Christ-like. And we do that by just reading the word and living by it. And and uh, so, Lord, we do as we read this. We just want you know, want you to write it on our hearts and, and and show us when to apply it. We know, we know, Holy Spirit, you always bring it up when it's time to to apply the word. So we want to read it have it in here ready to ready ready to be brought into remembrance so thank you lord the cowboy hat me and my friend were at the fair the other day we were taking pictures in the hats and the guy was like kind of he said something about don't take pictures she she yeah she was saying like he was saying not to take pictures i was like what and then i heard him say it again he's all yeah i'm here to sell hats not take pictures or something and so we were both like i thought that was kind of kind of strange but anyway she got home and then she felt like the lord wanted her to go back and buy a hat from him and pray with him and bless him um and so she did that she, so she ended up with this hat that she ain't never gonna wear so she, <laughs> so she but i was telling her i had a hat too and she's like will you wear it with me so i'm not the only one wearing a hat and, and so i said yeah i said i'll wear it on my video too but um anyway so yeah, Lord, just speak to us as we read this word. Um, yeah, yesterday was kind of a, a tough day for me. I was at work. It was really hot, and I was doing some stressful stressful things at work. And, and uh, I'm just trying to figure things out. Um, then uh, on the way home, my car breaks down. The transmission went out. And uh, it's about an hour away from home. I was barely got off the, the highway. These cars are going like, you know, 70 miles an hour right by me and the whole truck would shake every time somebody went flying by. And uh, yeah, it was hot and I was tired. <laughs> and uh, I was so excited just to get home when I was done with the job and then that happened. So I called my brother and my brother, it was so good. My brother got a hold of his friend and his friend went and got this flatbed trailer with a winch on it. So they came and pulled my truck onto this flatbed and he towed it home. And my brother was able to hook up to the dump trailer that was hooked to my truck. So we got everything back. It was just amazing. It's amazing how the Lord sends help to his people, isn't it? Um, but yeah, his friend, I wasn't really sure like I was, yeah, I was just so happy that he came. I wasn't sure what his faith was like if he was doing that, you know. Um, but um, that's just something I always, I always wonder about people, yeah, if they have a relationship with the Lord. And, but um, yeah, I was thanking him afterwards. I was riding back with my brother and he was by himself on the way home on the drive, hour long drive home. And I was just like, yeah, what should I send and ask my brother what to offer him, you know. I was trying to figure out because it probably would have costed about, you know, at least my brother said at least 250 to get it home from there. You know, so I was going to go ahead and offer it to him, you know, and just my bro just ask my brother what I should offer him. And my brother's like, you can offer him somebody, but he's not going to take it, though. You know? So I was just going to try to get, at least give him some gas, you know, if he wouldn't offer. So we, anyway, we got back and I, yeah, I got a chance to, to thank him. And I said, you know, how much do I owe you? You know, and, and uh, you know, he goes, oh, you don't owe me nothing. So I'm like, what about some gas? You know, will you take 50 for gas? He's all, nah, I just, I just love doing things for people and just 
the way he said that, I could tell that he really did, that he that he really enjoyed doing that. And I was just, yeah, it just really stood out to me. Like, I, I want to be like that, where I just really want to help people. I think we should all be in that in that position. I think that's what, what God wants from us. But, yeah, you read that verse, you know, we're the light. Let me read it. Um, you are the light of the world, a city set on a hill that cannot be hidden. Uh, nor do people... Let me start over. You are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden. Nor do people light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a stand. And it gives light to all in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. Uh, Matthew 5, 14 through 16. I always thought about that last part. So that they may see your good works. And give and give glory to to your Father who is in heaven, and that would obviously be for a believer because a non-believer isn't going to be giving glory to the Father. But I know when God sent them to, you know, my brother and him to help me and got all that stuff taken care of, where I didn't have to spend any money to get it home. Um, yeah, that's when I'm thanking the Father. I thank them, but I'm knowing where that where that help came from. Even if the guy was a Christian or not a Christian or, or whatever, I know that God sent him all things working together for the good of those who love God. We just get good things uh, come to those who walk with God. So, um, but yeah, so so yeah, that, that good work that this guy did, I'm mainly focusing on this guy because uh, because I didn't know him. My brother's amazing too, but, but uh, this guy, yeah, his name's Spencer. Um, yeah, he didn't even know me at all, and he, I, my brother said he was like on his way home from from work, you know. When my brother called him and he came home, I know this guy has a family, he runs a business, they have a lot of kids, kids and sports and everything, and and uh, and he came home and drove all the way um, out there to help me. So I just I just thought that was amazing, um, but yeah. So he was showing his, uh, he was showing his good works, his good deeds. What good is it, dear brothers and sisters, if you say you have faith, but don't show it by your actions? Can that kind of faith save anyone? Suppose you see a brother or sister who has no food or clothing and you say goodbye and have a good day, stay warm and eat well, but then you don't give that person any food or clothing. What good does that do? So you see, faith by itself isn't enough unless it produces good deeds. It is dead and useless. Now, someone may argue some people have faith, others have good deeds. But I say, how can you show me your faith if you don't have good deeds? I will show you my faith by my good deeds. You say you have faith for you believe that there is one God good for you. Even the demons believe this and they tremble in terror. How foolish. Can't you see that faith without good deeds is useless? Don't you remember that our ancestor Abraham was counted to be right with God by his actions when he offered his son Isaac on the altar? You see, his faith and his actions worked together. His actions made his faith complete. And so it happened just as the scriptures say, Abraham believed God and God counted him as righteous because of his faith. He was even called the friend of God. So you see, we are shown to be right with God by what we do not by faith alone. Rahab the prostitute is another example. She was shown to be right with God by her action when she hid those messengers and sent them safely away by a different road. Just as the body is dead without breath, so also faith is dead without good works. So yeah, it's important that we that we do do those good works. We can we can we can do good works and have no faith. There's a lot of people doing good works um, that they just feel that they want to do that aren't led by God. We know what he says about that. Apart from me, you can do nothing. You might be able to help someone in worldly things, you know, but if we're talking about helping someone like for eternal value, for their salvation, for things that really matter, that are going to last forever, storing up our treasures in heaven, using our resource and our time for things in heaven, we don't want to do anything alone. He said our good deeds, our righteous deeds are like dirty, dirty rags, like a polluted garment, you know, they're worthless. Apart from him, we can do nothing, you know, and then we can, you know, and then we can have faith and, and not do deeds. We can pray to God. We can thank God and we can just sit home and do whatever we want. But, 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 uh, 
But what he, but what he wants is, is, a, is a walk with him. Where from each one of us, we all are, should be walking with him, doing good deeds, calling people, helping people with things, doing things, you know, with our actions. So we want faith. We want to have the faith and and uh, and the works. So it's to bear one another's burdens and so fulfill the law of Christ. Galatians 6 2. So I just want to encourage us to to uh, you know to really seek the kingdom and, and walk with the Lord and, and let the Lord use us to help other people and, and uh, and that's how we get our joy, you know. We water we get watered by watering others, you know. Give and you'll be given back, you know shaken up and stirred up, pressed down and poured on your lap, you know, abundant. Give you more and the same measure you give, you get back more, you know. But uh, anyway, so I just want to encourage us to, you know, do those things that the Lord asked to seek the kingdom so, Lord, we just want to seek your kingdom. We want you to be available for you to use. We want to do good things in the name of Jesus for your glory, for people's salvation, to help out those that are in need. And we just give you all the praise right now. In Jesus' name we pray. Let your will be done, Lord. I ask for a special blessing right now for my friend. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, take care.